This tutorial will show you how to create quizzes and tests in Moodle. The process uh, is really a two-step uh, process whereby you create questions in the question bank and then add them to a test uh, activity on the Moodle course page. So to begin with you need to add questions um, to your question bank and to get to the question bank you scroll to the settings block at the bottom right hand side of your Moodle course page and click on question bank. That will open the question bank window and you simply choose create a new question to see a list of possible question types that you can create. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial I will create three question types. This first will be a simple true-false question. So I'm going to choose true-false click next and I type the question in today is my birthday and the question for for this simple true false question will be today is my birthday is this true or false. So the question is, today is my birthday. Um, you leave the default mark to one. You can put general feedback in uh, if you wish. This would be just kind of uh, information that you want the student to know about what this question is related to. And then you choose what the correct answer is. In this case the true answer is false. So the correct answer is false and the feedback for the response true would be simply incorrect. You can type in any kind of feedback that you want there. And the feedback for false is that is right. Today is not my birthday. Okay, having trouble spelling. There we go. Okay, and um, leave the penalty default at the moment. Uh, True-false questions, as we will talk a bit more about penalties when we um, look at multiple choice questions, but for true-false, essentially you either get it right or wrong. There is no penalty factor. If you get, get it wrong, there are no other options. So we're going to leave that and click Save Changes and you can see now we have um, added our first question to our question bank. So let's create a new question. This time I'm going to choose multiple choice. Click Next and the question name uh, is going to be once again using the day theme, what is today? So the question, the question name is just a name that you're going to give to each of the questions to identify it easily in a list of questions that you um, that you know what which question that is when you add it to the test. So it's just any kind of identifier. The actual question text is what the student will be asked when they click on that question or click on the test. So the question text is going to be what is today? Very difficult. And the default mark, we can leave that set to 1. General feedback, I'm going to leave that blank again. One or more multiple answers, you have the option of allowing multiple answers if you want. I'm going to leave this set to one answer only. Shuffle the choices, by default is turned on. This will move the correct answer around um, for each student or each time the test is taken. The numbering the choices, I'm going to leave it A, B, C. The default and answer one I'm going to put down Monday and because it is not Monday today I'm going to say that the grade for that is in fact none there will be no grade for that and the feedback will be incorrect and I can make an exclamation mark there answer two I will put down 
as Tuesday. And in fact, yes, it is Tuesday. So we're going to make that 100%. So if the student chooses Tuesday, then they get that correct. And the feedback will be, that's right. And then we'll have one other option, which is, of course, my birthday again. And I will leave that also set to none. So no points for my birthday. And put wrongo for the answer, uh, the feedback on that question. And um, four, maybe I'll put another one in here. Friday, no grade for that, but the feedback will be you wish. No choice five, I'm just to leave it four possible answers. Notice that you can add more choices, uh, at least three more choices, if you choose. Combined feedback, I'm going to leave that blank. Penalty for each incorrect try. Now, if you choose to use penalties, um, you can um, have different penalties so, so that um, if a student chooses a wrong answer and you give them multiple tries, they will nevertheless be assessed a penalty um, each time they get it wrong. So I'm just going to leave that default to... Actually, I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to make it 25%. So each time they get it wrong, they'll lose 25% of the possible uh, grade. You can add hints if you want and tags. And when you're done, click, click, uh, click on Save Changes. So now I've created a multiple choice question. And finally, the last question is simply create a question. I'm going to simply choose matching and click next. And the matching is going to be match the software to the task. It's the name of the question. And the question text is going to be the same. Match the software to the task. And the default mark will be, I can leave it set to 1 again, no general feedback. Shuffle, I can shuffle the choices around, leave that default. And question 1 is going to be word processing. And I'll put an answer in here. So the correct answer is pages. Uh, Apple's Pages is a word processing tool. Question two, I'll put in image editing. Editing. And the correct answer is Adobe Photoshop. I guess I should put Apple pay, Apple's Pages up here. And then the third one, I will um, put in uh, video editing and I'll put in um, Final Cut. Um, and then um, you may want to add more blanks so that there are some false uh, matches to throw off your students. So I'm going to add three more blanks here and I'm going to put in some false answers for those. I'll leave them blank and I'll put in um, um, FileMaker Pro and another software title Excel. So I've got two false or red herrings if you like. And I'll, I'll leave that set. That's, uh, that's enough. Combined feedback, I'm not going to um, enter in any. The penalty, I'm going to set once again. I'm going to leave that, I think, set to 33% there for the penalty factor. I'm not going to give them any hints, nor am I going to add tags. I'm going to click Save Changes. 
And so here is my uh, list of questions that I've created. If I want to preview any of the questions, I simply click on the little magnifying glass next to each one of the questions to take a look at what it looks like. So I'm going to preview the true-false question first. And there it is. Today is my birthday. Um, and I could click true, um, submit and finish. And you can see it tells me that the answer is incorrect. So um, with the um, feedback there. Uh, and then I am going to close the preview and preview my what is today multiple choice question. So I click on the preview. What is today? Select one. I'm going to say Friday and click submit. And notice that it tells me it's wrong. But I can um, start over again, see what it looks like if it's correct. I'll say, notice that it shuffled my questions. I'll click Tuesday and submit and finish, and it shows me that that's correct. And then uh, I close the preview again, and the last one is match the software to the task. So I'm going to preview that. And um, here it says match the software, the task, video editing, choose. Notice I've got two red herrings in there as well, um, but I am going to get it licked and say word processing and image editing um, and submit all and finish. And so that's uh, how the preview looks. So once you're done, um, with the creating the question bank, you're ready to go on to the next step and create the quiz itself.